Hey, this is Coach Jansen, official shooting trainer of Visionary Basketball. Today, I'm going to talk to you about what I think is one of the most common shooting mistakes out there. And if you're doing it, how to fix it. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to talk about what I think is one of the most common shooting mistakes. Kids today, youth today, are on the outside looking for the ball, waiting for the ball, but standing with their legs straight, right? And so in this situation, right, they're not ready to shoot. So when they catch the ball, they have to then go down, go back up to shoot. Also, they're not explosive, right? So to make a move and get by somebody, they have to then get down to that level. So you want to be in a low level, you want to engage the legs, be here so that you are ready to catch and shoot. Also, one of the mistakes of having your legs straight is the problem of having a two-phase shot. So when you catch the ball, what I've noticed a lot of times when people do engage the legs, the ball comes up. So we have backward action. So now our upper body is too far forward in our shot and our lower body has now gone backwards and is actually in our ready position. So that's a huge problem and that creates a two-phase shot. So important, you need to engage the legs. And we've got to work on shooting drills to focus on bending your knees, getting an athletic position, being ready to catch and shoot. So I got a few drills for you to work at that. So let's look at a couple drills that I have for you to work on engaging your legs. First thing you need is you need to get a chair. We've got to get nice and close so we're not too far away. We're close here at the hoop. I want us to sit down right at the front of the chair. I want my balance, right? I want my weight balance forward and I want my feet in my shooting position. I'm going to spin the ball to myself. Right when I catch it in the shooting position, I want to initiate and engage everything with my legs. So I'm going to push up with my legs through to my shooter C and then finish with my release and I want to get off the ground. Okay, so it's really important that we're not sitting back in the chair, right? We're getting right in the front of the chair, right? And we're really exaggerating to make sure that we are engaging these legs. So in this drill, what you're going to do is we're going to have a few different spots here, right? And you have to hit uh, five shots before you can move the chair back. Then you got to hit another five shots and then we work on moving the chair back, right? So this is a great drill to make sure that you are engaging the legs. It's a little bit exaggerating training, which is important, right? And then we're engaging, engaging, engaging. So the next shooting drill that we're going to do that's going to exaggerate engaging the legs is we're going to spin the ball this time. We don't have a chair, but we're going to stay low and without bending from the hip and leaning down, we're going to touch the ball to the ground. It's not a bounce. You're actually physically touching the ground with the ball and then engaging the legs, going straight up into your shot. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to find, we have these three spots again. It's really important to stay close. If this is brand new to you, and for sure, stay close to the hoop right here. So we want to make sure our feet are set. We spin the ball, have our knees bent. From here, I want to touch the ground and then engage the legs and then go straight up into my shot and get into the air. This is again is another exaggerating type of training and it's so very important when working on engaging the legs.
So we just talked about what I think is one of the most common shooting mistakes. Shooters typically aren't ready to shoot before they get the ball. And that's what we looked at to make sure that you're in your ready position, your knees are engaged before you get the ball. We looked at a couple drills to help us to focus on engaging those legs as well. So if you found that video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to us as well. Also, the comments below, make sure you hit us up with some questions or something that you might want to see next. All right, see you next time.